Our team coverage turns now to the victims recovering in the hospital. Yeah, CBS 4's Keith Jones is with us right now in the studio at that part of the story. Keith. You imagine doing what you normally do, riding the bus or being in a car on Broward Boulevard, taking your normal routes wherever it may be. For one man, his status quo writes a page in his own history. Limping through the Broward General parking lot, Darnell Coles tells us he's one of the lucky ones who will live to see another day. I looked up and I seen a bus coming charging at us and then the bus hit us and hit the other car. Darnell, a passenger in this cab, not on the official list of the four shot, two who died, and the three others injured when police say a gunman opened fire on this Fort Lauderdale bus. And when I heard the shot, I heard one of the shots, I said, I know that I can't be crazy. Thinking he might be crazy for a second because it all happened in the middle of the day on a city bus with innocent passengers on board. He saw the bus coming toward the taxi, and when the bus came toward him and hit them, he said he was in shock. Seemingly cool and collected, the female bus driver, who had enough sense to make the split-second decision to head straight to the Fort Lauderdale Police Department, Darnell tells us he was too scared to stick around. Only thing God told me to do was get out the cab and get going and figure it out in a minute. Darnell now hobbling along with neck, back, and leg injuries as the accused shooter was also wheeled into the same hospital for his own medical evaluation. Darnell's sister, discouraged by all the violence. It's terrible out here now. It's terrible. Yeah. And it's getting more dangerous. Darnell appreciating how precious life really is. We need to start loving, loving each other, man, more. And, and let's get rid of the negativity. He said it all right there, didn't he? For Donnell, uh, he's going to recover from those physical injuries, but his emotional trauma, that may stick with him for a while at least. That may be a little longer to heal. Live in studio, Keith Jones, CBS4 this morning.